as has been suggested, is this the last time at this level that Kubrat Pulev and Derek Chisora will be making the walk to the ring on an occasion like this. They boxed more than 500 rounds between them in a combined 28 years in this professional game. There's not much that these two don't know about each other as they go at it again six years after their first clash, won by Pulev. Well, Tony Bellew was saying earlier that Derek Chisora can't win a boxing match, he can win a fight. How will this unfold in a crackling atmosphere in this arena that's become one of the hallowed venues of British boxing? And Marcus McDonald trying to gain control of the contest very early on. As Chisora will have to try to close down between himself and Pulev. Pulev was prodding and probing and often dominating with the left jab first time around. Will he try to save all over again? It's highly likely. And that's what Chisora has to do when Pulev's holding. He's got to be hit with the other hand, make it obvious that he's holding. Force the referee to warn Pulev early. David Hay has also joined us down here at ringside. saying, David, this is the kind of fight that Derek Chisora has got to draw Pulev into. Pulev is trying to get some rhythm going with that left hand. Now Wang in with the right hand, missed with the uppercut. Second time around, did get there, did Pulev. Chisora driven back to the ropes, swinging wildly Chisora with that big overhand right. He had success with that occasionally in the first fight. Solid jab there from Pulev, those there come forward. Pulev just showing signs that he's beginning to warm to the task, getting the range with that left hand. Well, he's fighting while Derek, before Derek uh, uh, charges forward, he's fighting that jab all straight. He's not exactly doing the one-two like I asked for, but he's hitting him with the jab and just sort of slowing the attack down of Tizora. Remember, Derek spars like this every day. When he's in the gym, this is the type of fight he's used to. Pulev, I'm sure, found it hard to find sparring partners to replicate the awkwardness of what Derek Tazora is bringing to the table. Into round three. Bright start by Tazora in the opening round. Just signs that Pulev was getting some kind of rhythm in the second. Already, it's been livelier. It's been more entertaining than their first fight six years ago. Crunching left hand from Chisora lands. Pulev has been looking for the right uppercut. And he landed with two there, didn't he? Pretty much on succession there from Pulev. Then he gets low, he's got the right idea to get low, but he looks at the floor and he is low, he can't see any punches coming his way. These rounds, Derek are winning. They're ugly rounds, it doesn't look comfortable in there for Evie man. But Pulev isn't used to this type of body assault. I've never seen him hit this much to the body. How does he deal with body shots as it goes into round seven and eight? Good uppercut from Pulev. Derek needs to stay well away from those. Yeah, and of course, it's not a good shot. Block, though, I think, there from Majora, to be fair. I think the slower pace is certainly going to suit to pull it much better, of course. These are some good shots at range coming in from the Bulgarian at the halfway stage of round five. It must be disheartening for Pulev landing three or four good shots and Derek just gets there and just swings and tags him around the rib cage and solar plexus. It's a lovely effort to the body there again from, from Derek Chisora. I like, I like the body shots. I really think you should score the body shots as much as the head shots. It's punches on the target are scoring punches. And for me, Derek has landed significantly more land and low quality punches. 80% of them to the body. And even in this din, in this arena, we can hear those shots sinking into the torso of Pula. But likewise, we can hear the thud of the shots that cannon off the head of Chisora from the Bulgarian. Two resolute fighting men here. 
Chisora has been the full championship 12 round distance 12 times. Two left, five times. As two left takes aim now with Chisora on the ropes, trying to whip in those uppercuts off the back of the jab. That's better for Chisora, you've got to dip and, and bring those feet forward. about Chisora's work in this round. He's, he seems like he's having a bit of a break. He's not pressing the action, but he's not getting hit with anything that clean. It seems like he's kind of got the rhythm of Pulev. He's slipping and sliding. The shots are kind of great. And over his head. Big right hand from Derek Chisora. Buckled the legs, the biggest shot in the fight for both men. Overhand right. This is where all of those grinding early rounds pay dividends. This is what Derek Chisora needs now, is to put a real dent in Pulev to give himself and give the judges a good, a good understanding of what Another the right fight is. Right from Chisora. First time round, he followed up with the left hook, but Pulev drives him back and he lands a clipping right up a cut of his own and then a strong straight right. Big left hook again from Chisora as he breaks free from the corner. Best action of the fight so far. Closing seconds of round seven. points but he's the power is reduced massively in the last couple of rounds like he's tended to, to commit himself to throwing a heavy shot it's good right hand there though from Pulev was that Chisora's last salvo in the previous round or is there more to come it's unwise ever to count him out, but these punches from Pule are clearly having an effect as Chisora tries to respond, pounds away to the body, followed up with a couple of hooks to the head. Some lovely punches there from Kubra and Pule. Started off with a lovely strong right hand. Good uppercut there from Pule. Good shot from Pule. Chisora staggers onto the ropes. Pule taking his time now. Just under half a minute to go. Oh! And suddenly Chisora responds. We saw this so many times in the fight last time out against Joseph Parker. And once again, he's calling on that indomitable spirit, that relentless nature. Again with the body assault there from Chisora. I was just about to see the start of the row. Pulev, he's a solid jet. Oh, good right hand from Pulev. Oh, two big right hands and another one from Chisora. Pulev smirks and smiles, but he was caught and caught hard. Attempt. 
But Chisora is so just so focused on throwing that big right down to the top. He almost just ignores the shots that he's taking. Another right hand from Chisora. Is this one of those rounds that turns a fight? As Pulov. Pulev still tees up his man in the corner. Chisora though slams back to the body. He's had uppercut here, Pulev. Chisora got to keep rolling. He's had a lot of success with it, as did Joseph Parker at the end of last year on a night when he thought Derek Chisora was finished. But still, he's showing here. Pulev tries the overhand right, whips in the left hand. He's had a lot of success with the uppercut, but not so far in this round. Good right hand there from Pulev. Pulev somehow managing to get his boxing together again with a minute to go in the 10th round. Good work at long range. And there was another sign of how little there might be left in the legs of Derek Chisora. But plenty left in the heart, as we can see, as he gets in close once again. But, but again, there from Chisora, just when he shows he's tired and off balance, he comes back with two lovely body shots. The little cheeky left hands, he hooks up Pulev's right hand and throws the little left inside hooks, really, really messing the face up. Now he's got damage to the right eye as well as the left. Bloody mess. The crowd as Chisora pounds away to the body after two of those looting overhand rights and the blood now starting to spread across the middle of the face of Pulev. But he's ignoring the damage, firing away. Good little one two there from, from Pulev, just made sure to miss with that left hook. Sensing that he has to try to close this out in the final round as well. Pulev, so Pulev is in Derek Chisora's hometown, so any close decision usually goes to the hometown fighter. But I think Derek's done more than enough, even going into this last round, to win this fight on points. The body assault for me has really won it for him. Brilliant work to the body in the last 30 seconds as well from Chisora. And there's a half a minute to go now to try to sway the judges one last After 12 brutal rounds here at the O2, we go to the judges' score totals, and they read as follows. Jordan Ezekiev, 116-112, Pulev. <laughs> Guillermo Perez Pineda, 116-112, Chisora. <laughs> This contest 116 to 114 for your winner by split decision and the new WBA international heavyweight champion from Finchley, North Carolina.